Hey everyone, I'm David, a beauty director at Sephora. And I'm Aisha, and I'm also a beauty director. So this video is all about concealer. Uh, I think concealer is kind of a hot topic. People always have yes. questions about it, or if they even know that there's more than one type of yes. concealer, that's one yes. place to start. Yes. A lot of times we both started in a store, and mm -hmm. I know you probably had this happen where people would come in and be like, I need concealer. I'm like, well, yes. what kind? They're like, there's where more than one for? kind. And I'm what like, are you trying to conceal? Yeah, so different areas of the face, different skin types, even different climates are gonna give yeah. you uh, different concealer options. So we're gonna go over a few different kinds uh, and just kind of make it a little bit easier mm -hmm. for you to choose choose the ones that you really need. Yeah, because I think it, it's key to, to what you were just saying. It's yeah. understanding what you're looking to conceal. So what we're gonna do in this video is basically break down some of these great concealers that we have into buckets, yes. like areas of concern. Now, a lot of these concealers can work in multi-different ways, mm -hmm. but I think that we have little special things about each of these that might be just that tipping point with why you would wanna use it for your specific concern. So the first bucket mm -hmm. or sort of issue we're going to be looking at when it comes to a concealer is covering a blemish or using it generally on your face. Mm -hmm. I think because people don't realize that that and the under eye sometimes have a differentiation. Very, very different. Or if you're struggling and you don't quite know why, uh, this can sort of enlighten you as to yeah. why it's a little bit difficult. Yeah. So the first concealer we're going to be talking about is the Giorgio Armani Beauty. And this is the Power Fabric High Coverage Stretchable Concealer. I'm very much into this concealer right now. It's very, very nice. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Here, I'll give you one so you yes. can play with it. What I love about this is it's a full coverage, buildable, matte, but it's a natural matte, so it's not extremely dry. Mm -hmm. So this can even benefit the person with dry skin, but who still wants, when you think about covering a blemish, that should be a matte coverage because yes. anything that's matte recedes yes. so you want to put something on top of a blemish that's going to hide it put it backwards yeah. you know a lot of times people are using these very creamy luxurious types of concealers that have brightening properties you right. never want to see the word brightening or highlight <laughs> or highlighting i don't want to highlight a blemish in your blemish <laughs> concealer at right. all it's just kind of putting like a spotlight on it basically these are, and what I love about this is it's easily blendable. Mm -hmm. It glides on, which is really nice. One of the things that I've been loving about this, which is why I think I kind of bucketed it into the face yeah. category is while it is really good under the eye, I have been using it actually for the smile mm -hmm. laugh lines, which can be a really tricky area where you can often find concealers crease and they move into because it's a mobile area. Mm -hmm. This has a flexibility, a stretchability to it yes. that really, I have to say, has not creased at all under camera, under bright lights, wearing it all day. I have found that it really does stay put and it looks smooth. There's a, a slight blurring to it. So overall for the face, it's, I think it's yeah, wonderful. It's almost like it has like a gel yeah. texture to it too. So I find that like, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that with my next pick too, but when you're using kind of that dotting thing where you don't wear yes. foundation, you don't want it to be super matte or right. super radiant because then you see little spots on your face. Right. And this one just blends into the skin so well, it just kind of seamlessly, like, you can actually spot treat yes. with it without you know worrying about is it gonna be like a different texture completely. And you bring up a real one more really good point about this, which is in this sort of face category, there are the type of people, and I'm I'm yeah. really I like to do this a lot. I don't use a foundation sometimes. I take my concealer, I put it where I need it heavily, and then I'll shear it out in other areas. And this really glides on beautifully. There is a time release oils in here, good, nice face oils that really create that smooth, melted in skin texture mm -hmm. that it's I I think this is going to turn out to be a really good classic concealer for Armani Beauty. I think people are going to really fall in love with this one. Yeah, for sure. So our next one in the sort of blemish face category mm -hmm. is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the Accomplice Concealer and Touch-Up Stick uh, from Marc Jacobs Beauty. And it's gorgeous because one, I feel like it's kind of made for the New York girl, like it throwing your bag, do your makeup in a cap sort of way. Uh, but it's gorgeous because it's very much like the Armani, I would say texture-wise. Yes. It very reminds me of that. So I love that it's in a stick form. And like the Armani, it has this beautiful skin-like finish. Mm -hmm. um, when you can't decide if something's kind of matte or radiant, it's what we call satin. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you hear skin-like, skin skin at its healthiest is very satiny. Yes. Um, so it just 
blends really beautifully into the skin. I would say uh, it's the size of a fingertip. So you yeah. can just put your fingertip, especially your ring finger, right on there and just kind of dot it where dot you need it, to yeah. go. If you do need Plain. to maybe sub out foundation, it kind of swipes really nicely yeah. along the skin and blends out very effortlessly. It is more of that like satiny texture that yeah. dries down. So Definitely. if you don't love using powder, this might be a good one for you yeah. too. Because I find that even on my very oily skin, it sits still very yeah. nicely, which is something I really like, almost that self-setting technology. And I feel that's pretty common with stick formulas. And that's yeah. something I always tell someone when somebody's searching for the perfect concealer, and the first question is, well, what are you trying to conceal? If somebody says, yeah. I'm looking to cover a blemish, or I want something on the face, I will often say, think of a stick concealer mm -hmm. as being a perfect consistency for the face because it can build up and it tends to be, like you said, the right amount of dryness mm -hmm. where it looks like skin, but it stays where it's supposed to stay. Yeah, because a lot of times, whatever formula it is, it wants to stay that texture. If it's super right. creamy and it's super oily, you definitely have to set it. But if yeah. it's already very stable and right. it's sitting still, like in a stick or in maybe stick. even like a little cream pot or something right. like that, if it's a little drier, it's going to stay on your skin that way. The way it so is. if you're someone who's like, I don't want to use powder, I just want to swipe something on, dot it with my finger and mm -hmm. go, you might want to use something in a stick or something that once you glide it on, like maybe the Armani, like you almost can't see it anymore yeah. in a good way. Yeah. Um, so I just love this guy. And Complus kind of gives me like, you know, yeah. like cool girl, spy girl vibes. I was going to say, you feel like a spy. <laughs> I know, so, I totally get uh, it. <laughs> I, I, love, I love the mood that Marc Jacobs Beauty is going for as well. Yes, I agree. I love these. I think these are going to be great. And I think the idea of the touch-up stick, the all-in-one is kind of great for mm -hmm. like all over the face. So the next category we're going to move into is the multitasker. Yes. And I think that there's quite a bit of these now, especially in the market, where really technology has caught up to the needs of the client. Yes. And the concealers that people, the brands are putting out, there really broach a lot of areas. Yes. They kind of can have their hands in a couple of areas. People of... want more and more and more. Absolutely. <laughs> so the one we're going to be talking about right now is from Smashbox, and this is the Studio Skin Flawless 24-Hour Concealer. And these are really great. I've had this in my kit for a while. I think we just got... got them, and we love yeah. them. It is. Probably one of the most so, lightweight ones that we so have. So lightweight. I think the whole Studio Skin franchise is just one of my favorites because yeah. it's super lightweight. So um, lightweight. I actually use the foundation sometimes Great. to highlight under my eyes because yeah. it's just so seamless and I don't feel like I'm getting that extra coverage. And then I'll just dot this where maybe I just need a little bit of canceling out of coverage. darkness and things like that. I think it works really well. And I feel like the texture lends itself to sort of stretching. We call it stretching at Sephora yes. where you can use one shade for multiple skin Full tones. Uses, yeah. Um, a lot of times I just kind of grab whichever one's there and it always blends really really nicely yeah. into my skin i can use almost the lightest shade and it blends nicely into my foundation and it feels like nothing mm -hmm. that's one of the things that i loved about this was it is truly a 24 hour wear but it literally is weightless it is like a water it is yeah, Almost like it's... water. Yeah, I think it's a really good one. And I think what's great about it is it signifies what Smashbox does really good, which is uh, um, uh, products that are great for the professional makeup artists who need something that can do a lot on set. And when you have those products that m professional makeup artists find, can they can use it on dry skin, oily skin, deep skin, light skin. I, the, you know, the shade range is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The usage is fantastic. It really does fall into a category of a multitasker. Yes. You know, yeah. so I love that. I'm, I'm, I've always had a multitasker in my kit. For sure. So to add to that list of multitaskers, I mean, there's a ton yeah. uh, within Sephora, but the one we have here today is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Uh, so it's great because you can use it any way you want to. They call it a four-in-one because you can conceal and sculpt and highlight and, and contour. Can contour, all these different things. But I feel like the, the possibilities are very endless. Uh, I'm a very big fan of Too Faced. I have been ever since I started mm -hmm. at Sephora. You couldn't pry me away from the Too Faced gondola back in the day. Uh, <laughs> but the cool thing is like they have this really gorgeous glam girly aesthetic, which I definitely identify with. But 
Uh, they're very serious about putting really great skincare ingredients into their formulas. So yes. they have coconut water. If you're familiar with the hangover primer, that yeah. stuff works. It it's has the coconut good. water in there. Yes, I've used it so many times on skin that just kind of looked dull and needed some life. And the coconut water definitely delivers that. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Mm -hmm. So you may think like, oh, this is maybe a sculpting concealer and it's going to look dry and kind of have that baking look to it. Not at all. It has a hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid in it. So yes. really great uh, skincare quality ingredients in this guy. So I love the color range as well. Well, I have one of the deeper shades here. Yeah. There's quite a few this more shades. It's a really light shade too, yeah, which really is light. really light. Um, the founder, Jared, has very fair skin, so he always makes sure the fair shades look really, really good. Yeah, and, and they're pink. real. I was going to say, it's not too pink. Mm -hmm. It's a really good shade Yeah, range. so fair shades in general, like I think they have snow and porcelain and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so really great to check out if you want to face. But also, like their recent uh, shade extensions of the deep shades are always so beautiful and so neutral where you can use them on different skin tones. Uh, I... I always love Too Faced complexion. The, yeah, I think Too Faced. Yeah, it's so, so The good. Born This Way collection, the foundation, is, is phenomenal. Yes. It's a phenomenal foundation. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, I find it works on all different skin types. Yes. I can use it for an event, and I can also use it for a photo shoot. And sometimes... Or uh, just day wear. Yeah, just day wear. It's I, perfect. I used it like crazy when it launched. So I think in general, um, this... I feel like there's nobody that can't really benefit yeah. from this. If you go on vacation, maybe, and you don't want to take a full complexion range this with you, a great... it's a giant size for a concealer, which is amazing. Say, so just mix really it with good, a little moisturizer. Really good value. Exactly. So grab this, grab a travel size moisturizer or a sample of something yeah. and just kind of use that on vacation. Uh, it's just a really I great also think it's use. really smart that they used a larger size doe foot mm -hmm. on this one because of the fact that they do um, talk about that. this in, in a multi-use way. So if you're highlighting with this, it's a lot easier to get a nice highlighting or you, a contour. You really have, you're not getting like this you can do two swipes. Line. Yeah, you're good. two swipes and you've got the full thing and then you just blend it mm -hmm. out. So it really does um, lend itself to multi-using inclusive of the tool really does lend itself to a multi-using purpose, mm -hmm. which I think is very smart. You know, it really gives a, a lot of ease to the user mm -hmm. when they're using this. You don't need to be a professional makeup artist. It's kind of going to do it for you. For sure, for sure. So our next category is under eye. I feel like this is the most heated category, by the way. <laughs> uh, the one I get the most questions about probably from my own little sister yes. uh, so under eyes are special because they're yeah. very mobile as David yes. was talking about you know different areas of the face that are mobile you need mm -hmm. to take special considerations under eyes are very mobile mm -hmm. you're moving all the time and even when you're 19 years old you still have lines under your eye that's yeah. just the way eyes are made yeah. so you need something that is very flexible you yeah. need something that is very moisturizing Dries in because that skin is so thin so thin so even, dry and this is where a key mm -hmm. point what you were just about to say it's even if your skin is oily, your eye area can be dry. dry. Because it's so thin, the environment pulls the moisture out. And I also see a lot of people, especially when they're removing their makeup to try something on and sort, they're just so harsh. Yeah. <laughs> and I want them to be more gentle. So yeah. the sort of things you put your eye area through with the yes. waterproof makeup and the mascara and the lashes and things like that. And then removing it. Removing it is what gets you. Uh, try an oil cleanser, way better for your eyes, um, <laughs> is something True. where you need something very moisturizing. Mm -hmm. So this guy right here from Tarte, this guy is the creaseless under eye eye concealer. So it has maracuja oil in it. Tarte is sort of famous for, for bringing maracuja, maracuja oil uh, to light. It's very, very emollient, mm -hmm. but it stays put if you use yeah. the right amount. I would say the only time it's going to move around is if you use too much Too much. It. I've seen that happen. I've done it to myself before. Uh, and you definitely want to set something like this. Remember, we were talking about sticks and sticks sort of stay put a yep. little bit better because they have to be, you know, a little bit drier to stay in stick form. Right. This guy is a little bit creamier. It's a little right. bit balmier. Kind of think yes. of it almost as a concealer eye cream hybrid, hybrid. I would say that'd yeah. be a good way to think that, of it because that maracuja oil really does yeah. provide a lot of hydration yeah 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 and I remember I feel like every makeup artist has a kryptonite of things they like yes. either are bad at or don't like to do yes. and I feel like for me under eyes is my kryptonite so I feel like in uh. store I would show people this concealer and I'm like oh I have like no work to do today because this makes my job so easy yeah they always like it it always looks good uh and they always pick really good shades yeah. that are slightly peachy to kind of cancel things out right um so I feel like this is a really great one if maybe you've tried everything you want something very easy you don't want to layer a bunch of products it almost has like a built-in corrector yeah. and eye balm in mm -hmm. a way, I would say. I agree. And I think also a uh, thing with this, um, when I've used it before, one of the things that I love about it is it really does 
plump the under eye True. area because yeah. of the hydration and because of the texture of it. It gives the appearance to that under eye that it's actually fuller. There's a light reflecting capability mm -hmm. to it. So it really does, it for the under eye, it's a wonderful yes. concealer. Mm -hmm. A very wonderful, wonderful concealer. Yeah. So light reflecting, like David said, yeah. amazing under the eye. You want to have yeah. little ring lights underneath your eye. That's exactly what and, it kind of does. Yeah, and think about if you were to try this in store and see how much light it gives you, just think about that light being put on a blemish. And that is right. not Right, and that's why good. you're right. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about like matte or satin or light reflecting, right. radiant, things like that. This is definitely nice and radiant, but very easy to use radiant. Right, and it's like, it's not... And again, when we say these things, it's not like if you had this, you couldn't in a yeah, crunch. Yeah, but, yeah. but you would definitely have to set this with a powder if you're going to put it on a blemish because you need to take down. You're going to have to mm -hmm. work against its natural Don't glow, its natural radiance. Right. So you're better having something for the face and something for the under eye. You know, a lot of people would say there's two concealers, but believe me, you'll use less of it. And it'll work better for you. Yeah. A lot of times when I do complexion videos, they're like, oh, that's a lot of products. I'm like, I'd rather work. Smarter, little, not harder. Very yeah. little with a few products and try to struggle with one thing and yes. try to put it all over Make my Make it face. work in different areas. Mm -hmm. So the next thing for the under eye is probably my personal go-to favorite. Mine too. Mine too. So it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is an iconic concealer out there. I don't think there's one person who's not known or heard about this. It's incredible. I know. I think if you were to go into any Sephora... Any support and yeah. ask anyone who worked there. I need a concealer. They probably They're gonna take you direct to that you one to first. this one. Like I bet money. Yeah. Um, just because it works so well, it has a great range. It really does. And here's the thing: I use this a lot because, and we're gonna get into the under eye. It is a great multitasker. Yes. It is a very good multitasker. It has the uh, ingredients, and I'm not gonna go into the actual ingredients themselves. But what I'm gonna talk about is what they do. There's blurring mm -hmm. capabilities to it. There's skin tone balancing capabilities to it, and there's the ability to help reduce the appearance of redness. So yes. when you take those three capabilities, and that's not, <laughs> we're not talking about pigment here, we're not mm -hmm. talking about coverage, we're talking about the capability of certain ingredients in here to blur light, to play with tone and color correction, before you even get to the coloring, it really allows you to go, I have some redness here, sweep, it's gone. I have a blemish, boom, it's done. But when it comes to the under eye, this is my baby because mm -hmm. A, the color range just works wonderful. There's a slight color correction mm -hmm. in them that just literally disguises and hides dark circles. Mm -hmm. But also it just sits beautifully. It doesn't move. It's just enough matte and just enough hydration that it can work for dry to oily. It's just really for me all around I have found that I use this the most in my professional career mm -hmm. because it's just for me one of the best ones out there to use in my personal style of makeup. Um, but I know a lot of people have different approaches yeah. and I know you love it as well. It got to the point where uh, <laughs> NARS keeps us very shocked in this one because they know we love it so much. It got to the point where I was like I literally am so married to this concealer <laughs> and I've used it every single day in my kit for like five years <laughs> that I had to physically like it was painful to take it out of my kit and to try new <laughs> concealers and I was like oh my god I have to try new things. People were asking me about concealer yeah. and I'm saying NARS rating concealer like every single time. Yeah. And so we do love it. Yeah. It works so well. If you look really closely at the lineup on the gondola, you'll see, like David was saying, there are some like canceling colors. You'll see some shades look really peachy yeah. for some reason, and those are those like extra canceling shades extra. for under eyes, things like that. In case you have that really darkness or yeah, something. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But also like something that you should pay attention to with David's body language. And he was talking about redness, he was swiping. And when he was talking about blemishes, he was dabbing. Yeah. So if you take a concealer that's very radiant and um, moves quite a bit, uh, is very moisturizing, and mm -hmm. you're not dabbing to build that coverage, it can kind of like just kind of fade away Absolutely. into but if it's a blemish and you you want to wipe, dab, it's just gonna right. Go if you right wipe up, it's gonna, it's gonna disappear. So dabbing uh, versus swiping is really gonna change the way your concealer is gonna work too. So maybe if you have one of these and you're using it for that concern, maybe your application technique could be Absolutely. changed as well. So think about how you're applying it, how you're setting it, how you're wearing it, how you're prepping your skin. Yeah, all of those things sort of play into how you're using your concealer. I agree, one hundred percent. Could not have said it better. Mm -hmm. You could have. I could have. I, you could have. <laughs> no, I couldn't have. I couldn't have. But actually, I wanted to say one last thing before we sort of close out our concealer 
fun day. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you just said that I think is really important is, is we tend to marry ourselves to one type of a concealer, but technology improves, innovation grows. And I think that this is when you really want to try out new beauty products. Yes. Yes. You know, I'll be with my little cane with my yeah. radiant creamy concealer from NARS, like, you know, still using it. But at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> that might be sooner than you think. Uh, but at the same time, like, it's really important to try new things because mm -hmm. you may discover a whole new whole world. new things. world. Like this Armani situation right here. I have lots of Armani beauty in my kit, but now I'm just like, hmm, do I need this? Like, too? I honestly, like, yeah. Quite, quite nice. Um, I mm -hmm. feel like texture is definitely something you have to touch to mm -hmm. really like be sold on. Play. So I would definitely go into a store and play with a few of these mm -hmm. um, as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it for yeah. our concealer video. There are definitely tons more. There's actually a concealer quiz that you can take on Sephora.com that kind of narrows it's down the good. selection. Very, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Dry skin, oily skin, where are you going to wear it? Do you live in a hot right. climate? All that sort of stuff. Um, so you can take that Good quiz, questions to ask. Mm -hmm, to learn a little bit more. And as always, will be in the comment section doing consultations via tiny us, little profile pictures. And <laughs> let us know if you've tried any mm -hmm. of these and if you love them and what it was about them that you loved. Like what mm -hmm. were you trying to conceal and why did it work so well for you? Yes. Because I think that's really helpful to other people to hear, hey, I tried the Born This Way and it was really great because of my skin type or because of my concern. Mm -hmm. That's how you really find that great concealer that works the best for you because it does have a lot to do with your personal skin's chemistry sure. and, and sure. all that stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see new videos from us every single week. And until next time, we'll see you. We'll see Bye. you guys soon. Bye.